Dr. Robert Frank leads the study arm at the research center. He says the timeline to a vaccine is looking promising. Dr. Fauci said yesterday that he was cautiously optimistic that there could be a vaccine ready by early next year. I'm curious right. as to how you feel about that. I think it's unlikely that they'll be able to fully license a vaccine until about this time next year, but that, but we could have a vaccine available um, before then. So how could that happen? He says the FDA has a route called expanded access, allowing people to get the vaccine even before the license is obtained. By the expanded access, we could go to potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of people even by the end of the fall. We wanted to know who's going to get access to these first vaccines. The doctor tells me when distributing a vaccine, they use what's called a ring strategy. You put a ring around it, so, uh, the, the group where there's um, problems and then um, the people inside that are protected. So that if you were to immunize your first responders, if you're immunizing the hospital people, you're in, immunizing people in nursing homes or convalescent hospitals or um, elderly people. Dr. Frank tells me that his entire team in the infectious disease unit at Children's has essentially stopped all of their other projects to work on this. And he says that the most important thing he wants people to know is that they're not cutting any corners on safety or just how effective this vaccine is. Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.